Okay, uh, this is part two of my video of how to uh, make the picture with the talking lips. If you didn't watch part one, I would suggest that you do, <laughs> so you're not completely lost at this part. All right, now that we've made the uh, uh, front image box, and like I said, that we have the parameters and we have the input image, front image. That was after I typed in front image here, and we got this little picture. Now what we want to do is we want to we need to make one more box, and we're going to put that right here. So we're going to go back in the upper left-hand corner on Patch Library, and we're going to look for image, which is in the drop-down list here, image. And then you're going to look for image dimensions, and everything is in alphabetical order. Oh, there she go. There she is. Double click on image dimensions, and that gives us this box now. <clears throat> now what we want to do is we want to click on this little dot right here on image required. So we're going to click on the dot, and you're going to hold. You're going to click, hold, and then you can drag this little thing. But if you let it go, then the line disappears. So we want to click. And then you want to drag that little line, little wire, up to image. And then over here on the right side of image dimensions box, you're going to see it says width, height, pixel width, pixel height, aspect ratio. What we want to do is we want to take pixel width, click and drag it down to pixel width on the render in image box. And then you're going to take pixel height and you're going to connect that to the pixel height on the render in image box. Okay, I like to move these around and keep them all nice and even. All right, and then we're going to come over here and click on this dot again because we can pull out as many as we want from this thing. And we're going to take this one straight across to the input on render in image. Okay, now over here, this this is going to be our starting image and our front image. This will be the image from the camera. This will be the front image, and then it all comes together, outputs it into one image, which is going to be here. So what we do is we take the click here and click and drag the image to here which is going to be our output image. Now notice that this automatically appeared as soon as I connected that dot. It's just like connecting a circuit because our picture is coming from here, it's coming in, being processed, whatever, and then it comes here and it's being out. So now we don't actually want this picture. So what we're going to do, I'm going to come up here and we're going to click on parameters. <clears throat> we're going to click on uh, input image and we're just going to hit delete. Now that picture disappeared. Now what you want to do is you want to take the picture that we first made in the very beginning in the first video, which I made George Bush, and you're going to slide you're going to drag that over and you can just drop it into the front image picture. And now our ending result has changed to this. Okay, so now what we would do is we want to save this. So you can close the parameters, come up here to file save as. Notice that it's already in the composition where the compositions folder where Photo Booth stores all of its effects. And we can name this whatever we want. I'm going to make it AAA just because it, everything goes alphabetical in Photo Booth it'll show up first. So now we're going to take or we're going to go ahead and save that. Click and save. And then we're going to close Quartz Composure. And I'm going to open up Photo Booth. So you're going to see me for a second here. I'm going to go into Effects. Now in Effects, uh, you just have to scroll over to the page that it's going to be on. Mine should be right here. And then here we go. I have the, that's the AAA one that I just made. It'll be uh, labeled AAA. I can click on it. And there you go. You can make, that's how you make the uh, mouth, or the pictures with the moving mouths, just like Conan O'Brien does. All right, now uh, from here, so that way you don't have to do that same process over and over and over and over again. Uh, all we're going to do is if you can just leave one on your desktop to kind of get back into the Quartz Composure, but I just go back into my hard drive, uh, go back to my library, and my compositions. Now, the triple A one was the, the one that I made the first time. All you have to do is double-click on that, and it's going to open up uh, what we were messing with the first time, this is the one that we just made. Now all you have to do is if you have a, sec uh, a second picture, which I already have a second picture here, I googled some random cartoon. Uh, I open up parameters, and this is what we dropped in the front image. Now, all you have to do is take that image that you have, which mine is this little cartoon character, 
and I'm going to drag and drop that into front image. Now notice that the output image has changed back to this, but it cuts off the top and the bottom because we did lock the uh, height and width uh, of the pictures. So you always want to make sure that you have your pictures. Make sure that when you're making making a picture, you can delete the tops and bottoms to kind of get the square look to it, and then it'll pretty much fit in that square because that's the same type. That's the same size square you get from Photo Booth ab about. Okay. So now after we have that, we just go to File. Don't click Save because that will overwrite uh, the one that we had before, the AAA, which is uh, labeled right here. You want to do Save As. And we're going to rename this. I'm going to name it as AAAA. -A -A -A. I'm just going to do four A's this time. Okay, now I'm going to save it. And now notice it clicked to the four A's. And then I'm going to close my Chords Composure. Now we can go back into here and into the library, into the compositions. You notice that I have the AAA, which is my George Bush, and I have the AAA one, or the, sorry, the 4A, which is that weird cartoon character looking dude. And then we can go back in here into Photo Booth, <coughs> and click on Effects, go back to the same page. I think this is it. Nope, one more. All right, and there it is. Now I have the 3A, which is the George Bush, and I have the 4A, which is a little cartoon character. I click on that. Not, I don't have anything deleted, but if I did have something deleted there and it was a PNG, then it would show through. So um, that's how you make your little faces with the... Uh, there's Bill Clinton. So, uh, But that's how you make them. So any questions or comments, you can leave them. And uh, uh, if you have any problems, I'll try to help you out as best as I can. Alright, thanks for watching.